I'm Liz Rose, I'm the Textile Conservator at the British Library. This little volume is a small volume of Psalms of Confession. The quality of the embroidery is absolutely superb. For me, looking at it, it must have taken hours and hours and hours. It's, um, it's a great privilege to work with these items and in a way you've got to learn not to be scared of them, you've got to make friends with them uh, before you can, uh, you can actually work on them. This little uh, book would have originally had four ribbons and they were used to close the volumes. So on this book I would never replace the ribbon, despite the fact that it's quite degraded. So what I'm doing is I'm encasing uh, the, the degraded ribbon in a nylon net that I have dyed to match the colour of the ribbon. We're doing this kind of work because this whole collection belongs to the nation and uh, we have to keep the items within that collection in the best condition possible. So we're hopefully uh, slowing down any deterioration. Um, it's a very hard job for us because we have approximately 170 million items. I've made a frame and uh, I'm just going to stretch some nylon net across the frame so that when I surface clean the embroidered book I won't have the net lying on the surface of the book. You don't want to suck anything off the, uh, off the surface of the book other than dust. Let's have a go. Yeah, I think that's perfect. I'm doing this just to remove any surface dust off the top of the volume. And I've got a secondary layer of net here, which will, um, if anything does come off the embroidery, it will be caught in the secondary layer of the net. You can make a huge difference to, uh, to some items that are very degraded, and you can, uh, you know, you are saving them for posterity, and you are saving them um, or enabling them to survive longer so that other people can look at them, learn from them, research them. The work is so um, enjoyable, it's, uh, it's very motivating, um, you never know what you're going to do, days are always different um, and you never quite know from year to year what items you're going to be asked to work on, it's very diverse.